Hey guys, Squirrel Blind with I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with the bear. Last time on the bear, we had a flashback episode where we saw mm -hmm. uh, some of the uh, things that Cindy has had to deal with in her life, with her marriage, with her job, and with a new friendship that she sparked up with Michael. Who's when Cindy? I, did I say something wrong? I, when, I keep doing that. I, I, I do <laughs> Tina, Sydney, and somehow get s Cindy. Oh, okay. I don't know why you I do You said that it. and Count and I are like, I've been doing wait, that. What do you say? If we go back, if we go back from the first season, I've been doing that. Yeah. I don't know why. I think I wrote down her name wrong, and it's been stuck. There and ever because since. I generally remember by writing things down, I, I'm, I tend to remember things by writing down. I think I wrote it down wrong once, and <laughs> I, keep, I keep trying to fix it. <laughs> That's the first episode. <laughs> Tina. Tina. Yes. Michael. They met. David. It was cute. Don't what? care. David. David, her yes. Husband. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. her kid who doesn't exist. No. He does. Right? He Eric? Doesn't. Eric was we telling never him. Saw he exists. Him. We never actually we saw him. We don't need to. We heard about some anime he was watching. Oh, my gosh. Supposedly. 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 Turn it down. <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, my this? Just a thought from a past. Just memory. Another job opportunity? Maybe. Dude, what the f I thought you fixed it. So I don't understand. hot and cold. I have no idea what to do. Why are they doing? Uncle, Uncle Gary! Uncle Gary! Another fact. Thank you. Light him up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Dude. right. What's, What's going on, fellas? How much? much? You're looking good, Uncle Gary. Yeah, yeah, you, you look, look some good. Back. Yeah, you, yeah. Look <laughs> you look good. I'm we just got saying. a shape, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We got a shape. <laughs> <laughs> How long did he haunt you actually he, he for? He started haunting me when we were little kids. He convinced me I wasn't a fag. <laughs> Which is what I want to talk to you about. Okay. I'm going to open up my own place. That's great. Yeah, got the backers of ever, but I'm not, you know, I want to start clean. I don't want to inherit anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I guess, well, what's like the vibe of the... That you're thinking of? Or? Whatever you want it to be. Creative control. Whatever. Are you, did I say something wrong or? Uh, no. Honestly, the opposite. <laughs> um, here's a trick though. I'd want to move quickly. I mean, no tomorrow. See, you know, some sort of gross poaching. I'd want to talk to Carmi, but first I wanted to see if this is something you would even remotely consider. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, either way. I think you're awesome. That I appreciate it. And, you know, <coughs> your work and, um, yeah, I'll definitely have a think. Uh, what were you guys talking about? Legacy. You think about it? Uh, uh I think <laughs> about getting through Wednesday. What about you, you answer? I think I try to avoid it, but, um... I would want it to be panicless, you know, anxiety-free. And I think in order to do that, I would have to be square with everything. What about you? I kept my chin up, listened to learn, I did honest work, fun to be around, <laughs> and an excellent emergency contact. Ooh, that's a good one. How's it sound? That sounds legendary, pal. <coughs> Wouldn't be a terrible epitaph. Fucking go. Chucky, GG. All right, so this is the fucking zone. It's going to go sandwich, napkin, wrapped around the fucking sandwich, sandwich in the bag, bag to the fucking customer, fast as shit, we're not playing around. You're going to put the bag right here, so you can do this shit. See how fluid that shit is? It's beautiful. One move. Gorgeous, that's the key. Gorgeous. What about silverware? Fuck silverware. Yeah, fuck silverware. We gotta go outside, pick it up, clean it. Fuck silverware. Fuck silverware. Excellent. All right, let's... Excellent. <laughs> Slide that shit open, let's rock. Who's next? Good morning, handsome. What can I do for you today? Hey, can I get two hops from one sweet one dip? Absolutely, buddy. Thank you. It smelled good up in here. It'd be a terrible thing if it smelled like shit. <laughs> Thank you, have a great day. It's the only part of this business that makes money, right? So far. 
Thank you so much. Appreciate that immensely. Thank you, my He's love. Like, yeah, Thank you. Take her own. The other one brings in money, but they spend so much trying yeah. to make it, you know? Mm -hmm. Ron. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. <laughs> yes, chef. He looks so happy. Yeah, he does. That's what I'm saying. You know? Gimme, give gimme. Give Better than him Just before being like, uh, here. Tom? Is there a Tom? <laughs> Where's Tom? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I've always been like just skinny as shit, bro. Right. Like for real. And um, and the nutrition guy said that um, you know, he told me like this shit is healthy. It's not gonna show up as a steroid. And you know. No shit. I took a piss test and it showed up in the piss. Yeah. Fuck. And I only took the shit like twice, bro. Fuck. I didn't play any better. I didn't feel any stronger. Right. I didn't. Right. I, I right. didn't like fucking bulk up. So I don't even think the shit worked, bro. It was like. So it's for fucking nothing. It's for nothing, bro. All for nothing. God. Mm. Like, I missed out on so much, bro, and I always wonder, like, like what I could have become, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, you can't think like that. Yeah. I fucking, that's a, that's a dark fucking hole right there. And it took me to a dark place, bro. It yeah? Really did. Uh, for a while, I was, I just, I, I didn't have a purpose anymore. Because, huh. dude, you were fucking, you were the shit. Fucking left fielder. Yeah. Hitting the ball. Mm -hmm. I was a stud, yeah. Yeah. How do you know so much about AAA baseball? I used to put some money on some shit. <laughs> I, but I knew about you. Yeah? That's why I had to ask. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Legacy. <sighs> yep. Two cancellations last night. Shit. You need anything? No. I'm, I'm good. I've just accepted the fact that I'll never be comfortable again. You got that S pillow thing? Mm-hmm, yeah. Actually, I think I'd probably use that more than Tiff. Yeah, <laughs> Pete took it the second night. I never got it back. <laughs> Where were you guys when Tiff went into labor? The day before, I was with your brother on this trip, and I think I know she was, like, a bit pissed at me, so I made sure that I was around all day. Oh. Literally, like, as soon as we left, her water broke, right? So I went back in, grabbed all her shit, grabbed the go bag, and uh, yeah, we drove to the hospital. What was the trip with Mikey? <clears throat> we had to drop some shit off for Jimmy. Mm. <laughs> was it fun? I'm pretty sure that was the rule, wasn't it? Was it? A, it was a yeah. <laughs> non negotiable. Where are the fucking facts? Fuck. Where are the fucking facts? Oh shit, Nat, um, we're short on seafoals. Oh, got you. Okay. Hey, Nat? Yes, my love. Road of us. Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, seriously, that's so sick. Yeah. I could just feel it. Because you're pregnant? Like, you have, like, like superpowers. That's exactly right, my love. Or maybe you're in on it. Maybe it's a haunt. Uh -huh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you could go fuck Dad. Maybe I might do that. I could also go, go grab the seafolds, too. No, you know what? I'll do it. Really? Really. I need an adventure. Okay. Can we come? Can we come? Absolutely not. No? No, you're just so needed here. She's right. You're all right. Okay. Yeah, we'll stay. <laughs> They're so easily <laughs> manipulated. <laughs> Guys, you know what we need? What? We need a fucking robot. Like, what? what? Delivery robot. You put the address robot. in and it goes to the fucking place where it's gotta go. I'm fucking terrified of robots. You ever been haunted? Ted's like paranoid about being haunted. Yeah, I'm like, kind of paranoid about being haunted. Wait, Sammy so yeah. was haunting you again? He was haunting me. He haunted me for 15 minutes. I was fucked. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. It haunted me in fifth grade. It fucked me up. Dude. How long did you get harmed for? Well, well, quite a while. To like eighth grade, who broke my arm. He broke your arm? Yeah. He wasn't there, but I think he caused it. Like, we, what? Yeah, we went to Richie's grandma's house, and all of a sudden my arm just broke. It just fucking broke. It just broke? Double bent. Double bent. That's haunted. That's haunted. That's, that's, that's the most haunted. That's 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 haun
What do you mean he haunted you? No, it's not like that. Yeah, it's not like a ghost. No, nah, it's, it's not like, like it's not ghost. It's not ghost it's shit. It's serious. Are... It's serious. Okay. <laughs> Restaurant Depot. Hmm. No, she's gonna be pushing that heavy cart around. Dude, I like this haunted thing. We should do hunts. No. We should do that. Remember the soul thing? We we're gonna like trade souls. Remember, we've been doing it. It's without you. I don't think you. I don't think anyone has owned my soul yet. Except we'll me. check. You guys can't gamble heavy my lifting. soul. We went over this. We leave the bit in there. You don't die. Yeah. I don't think she's supposed to be picking this shit up. I mean, I mean, to be fair, napkins are like the lightest big box ever. Yeah, but, but when you still. have a bunch of paper pushed into one box, it gets heavy. I want to remind us all that, uh, you know, we are in this together, you know? And every day is day zero, you know, which presents a whole host of possibilities. You know, um, And I think the thing about... Um, and he's fighting with Carm. Teamwork, you know, is... Uh, what, oh, um, sorry. Dang, I was hoping he was practicing. The main thing that we got to focus on is just uh, having each other's backs, you know, at the end of the day. And that actually, there's this quote here. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> I'm to go back and look at that. I think that was a drawing of Carmi, and he was cursing him or something. <laughs> so let's get in there, stay sharp, look alive, and get to work. Chefs? Chefs. Yes. Lost his confidence. Not my best. We got through it. Thank, thank you. What's wrong, Richie? Yeah. Probably all the stuff with his daughter and his ex-wife and Carmi and the restaurant and his own personal shit. Oh, nice. Where you at? Uh, past course. Maybe we do the cavatelli with the Chicken uh, raviolo. Okay. Um, we could follow that with the hamachi. Hamachi, I think. Um, well, then we'll do the ribeye. Okay. Cool. And serve it with the cherry. No, I think the apricot's working well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, chef. Cool. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Cool creative control at the other place, right? Is that what mm -hmm. it said? Where she yeah. feels like she has no creative control here. Yeah, he's gonna lose Sydney. That is suck, but I understand. Yeah. It's a lot of sharpies, man. Fuck. Don't break. Here it comes. Your water. They're not that important there. Let me tell you yourself. Yep. Dang it, man. These episodes never fucking end. It just did. No, it's like every episode gives me part of the episode and they never finish the full fucking episode. And he, I gotta wait for more. It means there is no ending <laughs> for him. <laughs> never! Never there! It's always an Damn it, give me another one. You mean they're too short. Not that they never end. I mean, sure, yeah, we've hit the end of the episode. Yeah. But it doesn't, it never fulfills me to an ending. It's yeah. always, and then sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it comes, like the Tina one was fine. Yeah. Like that one was because it was a flashback. So you kind of mm -hmm. got to end at some point. You're like, okay, now we're in the, going to go back to the future. But they always end like these. I'm like, oh shit, it's, oh no. Oh no, it's, oh no. Hey, what do you think about having lunch for tomorrow? Oh no. You know, and it just yeah. ends. And like, they didn't even answer. You wanted to watch the next one. Yeah, but then sometimes, sometimes they, they do go, release these in a binge. Sometimes they go into the next one. Yeah. And sometimes they don't. Yep. No, I understand. They just I start get somewhere else. I like, understand. Ah. Yep. They're so short. I'm they starting are. to get into it. That's the thing for me. Like, they're very short. I spent all the time trying to figure out how the fuck Uncle Gary fact got haunted, and it ended with a fucking uh, Valhalla, and I don't even know what the hell he's talking about. What was that? You don't. You don't need to. It's just that the what? haunting was so life altering. That's about yeah, that he is never the same. What? Yeah, he battled every day in eternal uh. pleasure. You don't know what it's like to be haunted by cousin Sammy. Yeah, I guess. 
Though I do like elements where uh, there was a moment where Richie and uh, no, Sugar. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Huh? What's Sugar's name? I just Her had a name. I and then you said Sugar. sugar. Nat? Yeah. Nat, Nat right, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I couldn't think of that, but I could think of Sugar. <clears throat> but when Nat and Richie were talking, um, they were talking about spicy stuff. Yeah. And then she was like, you didn't take her to that pizza again, did you? And it's a thing where it's like, I have no idea what they're talking about. But like, if I was like just someone listening to their conversation, like that's what it would be like. Like it had like a realness of like, there's a there's something they know of and sure. they're referencing it. Yeah. But I don't know what that is. And it has a realism to it, even though I'm left about out. about the pizza that we had? Huh? That was kind of spicy. <laughs> that we had? That they, they got for us for that pizza episode, remember? Hmm. Had that spicy pepperoni one. I don't remember it being that spicy, but maybe. Yeah. It was really good, though. I don't Wait. know if that's... Is that what they're talking about, that pizza? Wait, are we talking about pizza we ate or pizza they ate? Yeah, remember that we got a piece of the pizza after that, that one episode where they featured pizza? Oh, the deep dish? Yeah, yeah. But, they, but they didn't eat that. That was the one that they did gotcha. for... The surprise. Yeah, that was the surprise yeah. pizza, yeah. I don't think it was. I that. just think of the bear and pizza, and I think of that. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, it felt like it was like a moment where like there's some pizza they both know of, but like we don't, we didn't, we don't know of that. Yeah, right. Sure. So it's like no, they I have a history you. that yeah, yeah. we don't know, and it's just yeah. like uh, like there's so much more to these characters that we just don't know about. Mm -hmm. We're just seeing these glimpses into the life. Kind I, mean, of I kind of feel like neat. this season has been that. Like there hasn't really been a whole lot of. Uh, I mean, this is the seventh episode. It's not like we've really like progressed since what happened at the end of last season but it's been a lot about learning about the characters deeper sure. which I've enjoyed honestly I won't want it forever but I have enjoyed it definitely but uh, with Natalie I just hope nothing's wrong mm -hmm. you know, compared to if it is just her going into labor by herself but I don't know yeah we'll see I'm assuming from the way she was talking like she is there at delivery she just hasn't delivered Yeah. and that's why she's like I've just accepted that I'm to be miserable forever yeah. Like, I'm. Sp it's supposed to have been done, but it's not done, okay. but I'm still like this. So I'm assuming she's at delivery point, but maybe not. Because hmm. also, like... like the, it's like a window, get, right? They, they, it's not, like, yeah, you get miserable. Like, yeah. it, it's not always the, the most fun to have to carry a kid, and it hurts your back, and it hurts your stuff. And sure. At least I've been told. Yeah. Over times of... They get big enough, they start pushing your guts up into your chest, <clears> and then you can't breathe, you can't sit down, yeah. can't hold your pee... For sure, something often after either. Like, lots of times, like after you've had a baby, if you laugh, you pee. You just lose a lot of your the way things worked. Just don't work as well anymore. Sometimes. All right. It happens. It happens. The uh, the napkin thing was that like a was that meant to have kind of double things? Because I think Tina's episode was called Napkins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then she was like I think just doing maybe like inventory looking to see what they had and didn't have and checking that but it made me think and I don't know if we really talked about it but I like that Michael last episode like he like took napkins out I think of a napkin holder and then walked over like he was putting napkins into the one near her just to like give an excuse give to an talk excuse to her to and talk stuff her. like yeah. he didn't have like a box I don't think that he was pulling them from Yeah. and I was like oh man I, never, I didn't think about that so like I wonder if those if she caught that and if napkins have any different meaning to her at all when she thinks about Michael or trying to help people or yeah. if it's just literally like oh, I've got to check this off. No, yeah, I think I think her like checking them was her like just doing inventory but the, the little audience. smile that she had mm -hmm. when she did it I think was her remembering Michael. Sure. Either that or helping uh, Ibram? Is that his name? Yeah. Abraham. Yeah. Abraham. Like Maybe just helping him too, mm. like trying to maybe get him because like he was gonna be at the chef spot and then he bailed out and now it's trying to get him comfortable and yeah getting his stuff working you know yeah but she seems to be he was happy fulfilled there, at right? the meat window yeah yeah at the meat window what name you know what I the beef window on a bash I love mayo I love mayo do you mayo with some pepper on it. Pepper on it. Yep. Eric, this is why you have diabetes. A, <laughs> was that a pepper trumpet? Pepper on it. <laughs> grinding a pepper. Oh, okay. <laughs> so do, it, do that again. Yeah. <laughs> pepper. It's like a clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was doing this. <laughs> Did he do that? Yeah. Unabashedly. I mean, they can pepper. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. This is. No. 
I don't know what that one is, but yeah, the pepper. Sometimes you gotta tickle it out. I, I mean, yeah. I, I've done the twisted yeah. ones, you know? Like, yeah. that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> tickle it out. Yeah. Do <clears throat> you just eat mayo and pepper? Or do you mean like putting that. it on something? Putting it on Okay. It. Using it. That's what I was saying. That's a I was like, You know what I love? Mayo, add a little pepper. That's it. That's all I, I like, need, baby. Eric, you should put that on a sandwich or something. Dude, no, man. Just <laughs> half, a, half a can. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so disgusting. It would be spicy slime. Mm. Spicy slime. Pepper on mayo. Yeah. No, I like mayo too. <sighs> I, I do like mayo on some things. <clears throat> but often <clears throat> when mayo is on... A sandwich at like a like a restaurant or fast food or something, they put way too much on because they also love mayo. No, that's why I agree with the one like I love it with it where if you want mayo, like you just put it's on, on the side, side and I can just like because I'll put I'll put a bunch of mayo on mine. Like on a hamburger. There's a lot of mayo, some ketchup, some mustard. Yeah. Do it. Do it that. I'll dip my fries in it. No. What are you, French? No. No no. Ho. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a French thing. Is it a French thing? I think French dip their fries in mayonnaise rather than Instead like... Instead of ketchup? A lot of... Yeah, like U.S. you usually find ketchup mm. as the answer. You know? Ketchup. So. Um, so we have Carm talking about legacy, talking about how they don't... Th- or he doesn't think that he can even think about what he's going to leave behind until he is square with everybody and every everyone. Mm-hmm. Right, like he wants to, he wants to, when people think about him, not to think about anxiety, not to think about stress, but that's what, that's what his relationships are. All, most of his relationships are right now, especially the big ones. Sure, you know, with well, that's Richie, what he's saying with, about like the dish that he wants to create. Yeah, that he can pass on. It's got to be something stress free. Yeah, you know, it's got to be something easy that somebody can whip up and not feel like. They're just adding more stress to their life. He wants it to be something that they can yeah. enjoy making and, in you know, eating, mm-hmm. and not just. I mean, I bet stress. that that's not how it has to be, right? Because seems that everyone highly thinks of Michael, mm-hmm. but it also seems like there's a lot of stress and anxiety and yelling and whatever else oh, yeah. over sure. his life. In I mean, the, that's in the beef, you know, sure, and yeah. all that stuff. I but mean, those Carm the- still has, the, you know, he still goes to that group still thinking about how, uh, you know, what was the line they I'm, used exactly? Like, they're talking about the apology kind of thing. But yeah, sure. they're, they're talking about how you, you're happy for them, that they're sober, but like that doesn't get rid of all of the, th- <coughs> the, the things that I was put through because of that person. And I think Carm has a lot of that left over with Michael. He loves Michael. Sure. But that doesn't invalidate a lot of the things that Michael made him feel. I suppose you know, his mom. And I feel his like mom his and, mom's a big one. I think that yeah, you look at yeah. that where it's like there was clearly like a sure, absolutely. alcohol. And that's why the why Nat's listening to mm-hmm. a, the, what was it, like the five types yeah. of children from mm-hmm. alcoholics or whatever. Mm-hmm. Which I missed one of them. I had enabler, hero, scapegoat, lost child. Yeah. But there was another one in the middle of that. I didn't get the other one. So I was thinking about like, oh, if one of that's a, the case, and if so, like, what do the three kids kind of represent in that? Sure. Yeah. idea like I imagine that Sugar is the hero right she's the one trying to be there and help her and mom are you okay hey you shouldn't do this but yeah. does that make like Carmi like the lost child he just kind of like didn't know he, what to he, do he, he could kind of be life. like the lost child or the prodigal son that goes and comes back yeah you know and then like does that make Michael like he just kind of let it happen so is that like the enabler or something you know like oh no that's just how yeah. she is let it go you know she's yeah, good sure. I, I don't know I don't think any of them were the scapegoat. Yeah. But then I, I don't know what the last one that I'm missing is. <clears throat> but yeah, the idea of like, well, I'm sorry, I'm better now, I'm sober now. Yeah. But I still went through all this while you were not sober. That doesn't, you know, just because forgiveness is something that it can be a really beautiful thing, it can be really difficult for the person giving the forgiveness to deal with. Yeah. Sure. You know? I think that's one of the things, like, in the 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 steps you have to apologize and make amends mm-hmm. but like it's not pivotal on whether you get forgiveness or not sure like, that's up to them that's something they have yeah. to do but then if you choose if you're saying that you're like I'm not going to do that then are you you know getting in the way of this person's sobriety now <laughs> you know those are things they have to kind of think of and well that, that's something that they can mess with you with their counseling and stuff, they have to separate that from yeah. their own 
you know, needs and health mm-hmm. and everything like that. Shouldn't it be dependent on someone else? Yeah. I think that's part of why they got addicted in the first place. Or can be. Mm. But yeah, I went. I just want Carmi and Richie to, because Richie's just not enjoying himself either right now. He's really like he not. Wa- I, think, Nobody's I, think, I think he wants himself. to. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sydney's gonna leave. I Sydney think you might know. Leave, yeah, yeah. Having that moment where he's like working on trying to figure out the menu, and she starts giving ideas, and everything she says, he yeah. counters with something else. Yeah. And never's like, oh, that's a neat idea. You know, he never like acknowledges what she says. He well, just... it's because he ignores everything and fixates on this, and when he does that, he like shuts himself off from all communication. <clears throat> I guess so. But if that's the case, then I feel like when he started, he should have just said, like, here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Instead, he was just like, I'm just trying to figure this out. And then she starts offering ideas, and he, like, just, well, I'm going to do this. Yeah. yeah. This. I'm going to do this. He well, already, had, already it had it all figured out. out. Then just, What's what? the point of the partnership if, like, by the time you get here, all the work's already been done? I mean, maybe... If they're going to swap menus as often as they do... They should like alternate. Yeah, and then you like, have who like because then make you the menu. yeah because then you have like Sydney spending two days trying to figure out what they want for that one, and then him spending the two day. You know what I mean? Like sure, you can swap it. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, and then it gives you a little bit more time instead of trying to come up with a whole new menu yep. every day. And then they both get full creative freedoms every other day on the menu, mm-hmm. and then you can see like well what did people like, what didn't people like. Also, just Chicago's a big place. Like, I imagine that the waiting list and that type of thing. You know, I could see, like, a smaller town. It's like, well, we, we had this last week. <laughs> There's not a lot of customers, but I bet you, I don't know, maybe not. Well, that's Depends why those, how expensive it is, those right? restaurants are, they can only be successful in giant cities like that. Yeah, right? sure, because you need a lot your, of people. your turnover has to be infinite, basically. Yeah, it's <laughs> a little crazy. I'm sure restaurants around here have, like, Here's a busy night, and then they're they're dead. Yeah, because you don't have the much. same people probably going in every single day, and there might not be that many people that can go in. Yeah, like I doubt the people. I assume the people that are going to the beef window aren't also the people that are going to go there for at night for dinner. Most yeah. likely, you know yeah. what I mean. Like it's probably like a different customer. Mm-hmm. Base. I think that's why it's completely it, separate. Yeah. on the other side of the building. It feels like learning. this restaurant is meant to be a high end whatnot, and then the beef window is more of like the fast food, get your Philly cheese yeah. steak, mm-hmm. and you know. There's your lunch kind of thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, yeah, just, I think they're charging, was it like almost $200 a plate? I don't know. They said or losing those there. two tables last night cost them two grand. And that was a total of... A two top and a four top? That's what they said? Yeah, it's like six people there, yeah. right? So, yeah, Crazy. even even more. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to eat there. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right. Well, we're not going to eat there. Maybe next week. We can always try again. Uh, I gotta at least leave the kids out. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can't be ready <laughs> for your kids. I ain't, I ain't doing that. No, no. this is date night, baby. That's two grand just for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching The Bear with us. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button while you're down there. They're like right next to each other. Just don't miss it. Also, there's more The Bear right now over at blindwave.com. You can see early access and full length. Uh, and I think like the rest of the season over at blindwave.com right now.